let's talk mosquitoes now. If you've spotted a mosquito buzzing around your house or your office lately, you are not imagining things, even in December. So what is causing this, and is there anything you can do to keep them out? They are so annoying, you too. You've saying this. We're joined live by Pablo Cabrera from the San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Okay, so Pablo, this came about because we in the newsroom, there are a bunch of us that are swatting each other because <laughs> of the big mosquito battles. right now. And at my house, I killed four yesterday. Why am I seeing these in December? Yes, right? Well, mosquitoes are supposed to be a summer problem, right? Right. But we live in beautiful, sunny Southern California, and we get warm weather even in the summer, uh, colder months. And mosquitoes are very temperature dependent, uh, meaning the weather can affect them a lot uh, in their uh, biology. And mosquitoes right now are trying to go into, into their diapause phase, which is essentially a type of hibernation for them. But unfortunately for us, that means they're looking for warm spaces, which is essentially the spaces where we're at, which is oh. inside our homes, oh. even in our cars. And in vector control, we tend to see a lot of mosquito activity in our underground storm drains. But this is fascinating oh. to me. Okay, so mosquitoes have this hibernation-like state, but like I picture a bear like sleeping somewhere. Are mosquitoes <laughs> like finding warm places and they're all like passed out right now? Uh, not necessarily. It's kind of like a slower <laughs> space. So. During the colder periods, they go into the diapause phase, uh, which is essentially slows them down, which allows mm. them to conserve their energy and wait out the winter in these uh, more uh, enclosed areas where they're avoiding the freezing cold. Because if they do get exposed to the cold, it can potentially start to kill them off, which is great for us. But the problem that we have with Southern California is we get warm, uh, uh, some warm weeks. Yeah. For example, like next week, I know we're going to have a few warm days. And if we have longer periods of warm times like that, uh, it will increase the mosquito activity. So while we could get more mosquito bites during that time, uh, the chance for vector-borne disease transmission remains very, very low. Okay, well, that's good news. I'm yes. glad to hear that because that is one of the concerns. It's not just that they're annoying, but they can spread right. disease. I, I do, I'm wondering though, I know water also has an impact with mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. We had all that rain. Did that have anything to do with this? And if I'm at my house and I've got all these mosquitoes, like what should I be doing? How much water can these guys need to like come back? Yeah, so you're exactly right. Uh, the rain uh, does affect the mosquitoes because when it rains, we get a lot of uh, stagnant water, meaning water that's sitting out in sources. Something as small as a bottle cap is enough for bottle mosquitoes cap? to move in. That's crazy. Yeah, so it's something that small. We tend to think large sources like pools or big buckets. Mm -hmm. While those, yes, we still need to remove that stagnant water. We want to also think smaller sources, so bottle caps. Uh, our plant saucers are big, uh, are big ones, even trash cans that are left open. Those are things that we wanna, want people to inspect their yard, especially after the rain, and eliminate that stagnant water or store those items in a dry area where they won't collect with water. Okay. okay. So for people seeing them in the house right now, like Jamie yes. or our coworkers who say they have them at their desk, like what are they supposed to be doing? Yeah, so the biggest thing is, uh, like I mentioned, eliminating the stagnant water. Uh, and of course, you can work with us in vector control. We're working all year round. Of course, people tend to think always summer uh, and mosquitoes, but mosquitoes are a year round problem. So hear us at vector control. We're get working year round. Uh, you can contact us at sgbmosquito.org if you live in the San Gabriel Valley. Or for any resident in Southern California, you can visit SoCalMosquito.org to see who your local, local vector control district is. So I, I know I've talked to people who grew up here who say like 20, 30 years ago, we didn't even have mosquitoes. Is this a new thing or is this something we have had for around for a while we just maybe didn't notice? Well, we've always had mosquitoes, but really the bite pressure is a lot different now. We have 80s mosquitoes now, uh, which are the small black and white mosquitoes that we didn't have before. They're invasive species. Uh, they're very established. They're very aggressive mosquitoes. Oh. And the biggest difference is that they bite us during the day. So when we're all out and about, getting in and out of our cars, going uh, to and from work, uh, they're active when we're most active. And then they also tend to bite us more than once. So people Oh. Uh, feel like they're getting attacked by these mosquitoes. So that's why we're feeling more of a bite pressure than years before. Yeah, this is also interesting. Those 80s mosquitoes, man. Yeah. I'm going to go after them. My, my husband and stepson don't know what's coming. I'm going to dry out the whole house. Well, we might need Pablo the Mosquito Whisperer to come visit us. <laughs> yeah, Pablo, can you come on over? 
<laughs> later? I sure will. And again, it is the stagnant water. So you want to make sure you have no stagnant water. Okay. Oh, and yeah. make sure that you talk to your neighbors as well because, you know, you can do it, but make sure that your neighbors are also doing All right. it as well. And for people being bit more, is it true that they're, like, attracted to certain blood types? I've always heard that. Is that true? Um, it kind of goes back and forth. There's a lot of information as to, you know, why I get bit by mosquitoes versus uh, right. this person doesn't. I know I'm the one who's always attacked, yet my brother has no mosquito bites. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a lot of varying different factors. There's our smell, if we tend to run warmer, oh. if you just got back from the gym, oh. uh, if you're exerting more CO2, you're even, you're even your own wow. pheromones. Uh, blood type kind of goes back and forth, but there's still not one set reason as to why you're more attractive to mosquitoes. Well, Pablo, I think they have your picture on a wanted mosquito <laughs> wall somewhere, so I know why they're coming after you. <laughs> Thank you for being with us this morning. This was really great information. Yeah, he's fascinating. I know. I, I we talk, talk to you. For, I really do. Day. I'm I from know, the South, knew? so like I know mosquitoes, and you've taught me so much this morning. Thank you, Pablo. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. All right, take care.